My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Skyrim. This is Hill here with Carnivus Rollins. And it's been a little bit since we've seen Carnivus, maybe a week or so. And we did have to dismiss Janessa as a follower, unfortunately. People, fellas, um, because of the body mod that I was using, um, she was naked underneath her armor. And whatever's going on, I think it might be convenient horses, I'm not sure. But something causes the followers to undress. And when she undressed, she was naked. And I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube, so sorry about that, fellas. We had to let her go on her way. So she's um, in white run right now. Um, still alive. And um, he's in between followers at the moment. And he wants to head to Solitude. We have yet to go there. It's like right across the water from where he lives. I was waiting for the carriage driver to come out, but he seems to have other plans. So, I think we're just going to get on Nelly. Alright. Heartbeats of the living sing to my heightened senses. Carnivus must be getting hungry. And as you may or may not know, I don't know if you're new to the channel, we are playing as a vampire. And I just activated the night vision, the vampire vision. And I did um, find Skyrim on sale on the PS4 over the Christmas, not Christmas, the Thanksgiving holiday. And uh, it was like half price. It was like uh, $15. So uh, I picked it up. And Seriously? These people aren't serious, I know. Maybe they are. Because I think we've committed crimes here. Where is this doorway that it wants me to go through? By the order of the yard. Stop right there. Alright. You caught me. I'll pay off my bounty. Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Alright, so now maybe I can finally get into Skyrim. Because every time I come here, there are either the, the bosses from the colorful magic mod or attacking or some, something crazy is going on and you know I've had to kill guards and all that kind of stuff this unfortunately was off camera but uh, I wanted to finally discover solitude so we can you know add that to our places that we can go and shop and maybe get a home I don't know but Rollinwood seems to be working out rather well at the moment okay so here we are 
Castle Dower. Alright. So I probably missed the execution. Let's see if it's still going on. You hear that? I swear there's something out there. In the dark. No, I'm I'm still in time for the execution. You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. They're all hard fit in. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric tells the story. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Norse. <laughs> Day. I go to Solomon. Now look away, kids. All right, so that's that. But what I was wanting to say, let me turn off this vampire vision. It's so bright that uh, I got um. Skyrim on the PS4 played it unmodded and I'm telling you it is a difficult game to play without all the mods oh who is this oh Lysette that's definitely going in my part of the Edda okay to bad rubbish, I, said. Oh, I guess it's all over I expected Oh, I don't know what I expected. Do you miss your days training at the college? But yeah, the, the mods that are available on the PC are just incredible. I mean, the, the quality of life, just graphically, the way things look. I mean, it's just, it's like night and day. It was really difficult for me to play it uh, completely unmodded, but it's certainly an experience. Oh, look at this butterfly. Can I catch it? Thank you. Luna Moth just sitting there. <laughs> All right, so we finally made it to Solitude. And this is a modded version of Solitude, as I'm sure you can tell. Who is this? It's like a thief. Need something? No. Mm -hmm. All right, and I think we have a mission to go to the... What the? Okay, it's a cow. Is this a twerking cow? Alright, let's get the night vision back on. But yeah, a modded version of Solitude adds a whole lot more to it. Oh, look, there's a sign here. Solitude Public Bathhouse, okay. So there's that. But we'll explore Solitude more. Probably at a later time. And the Dragonborn Gallery mod, I did remove it to install this, although I think I have seen where people are able to use both mods simultaneously. are here to see Elsif uh, and to complete a quest exploring new places. Um, we cleared out a cave, Prom Vanger Hall, and we are here to get the reward, or at least Carnabus is here. Okay, turn off that vampire vision. Elsif. Please don't interrupt the court. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my rule. Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. 
Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldis I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. But about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Jarl, may I speak with you now? There's something personal I was hoping you would do for me. Really? What is that? Falk told me what you did for us at Wolf Skull Cave. He says you're someone we can trust. As you may know, Talos' worship is outlawed in the Empire. When we buried my husband, I made offerings to all the gods, except Talos. I would like you to take an item of his, a warhorn handed down from his father, and place it at a shrine of Talos. Do you worship Talos? No, but my husband, Torg, would want a proper burial, and this is the way Nords are buried in Skyrim. All right, I was hoping you would say yes, but I would be honored to help. Thank you. It would mean a lot to me. Hmm. All right, I still need to talk to you. What can I do for you? Looks like we cleared the place out. Thanks for recommending it. It was a pleasure. Thank you. And people like you, I'm just as confused. I really don't even remember what this mission was. Okay, so that is completed. And she's saying thank you, because I think there are other mods at work here. Thank you for what you did at Wolf Skull Cave. I never did Wolf Skull Cave, so... Do you need someone to check out Wolf Skull Cave? Oh, I thought that matter was handled. No, it wasn't. I think Falk is taking care of that. All right, then. At least you thought so. All right, so that's been cleared up. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. I'll see you later, Your Majesty. Falk. Do you have business with the court? Be I have quick. business I with have you. I have locations for mundane concerns. I am Falk. the Arrow Steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm looking for work. Got any leads? The Yara has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Okay, well, I'm batting a thousand here. So anyhow, we did <laughs> we now have a, a bounty, but here's what we're looking for. I hear you're looking for some help with Wolf Skull Cave. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? Yes. I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. All right, then we can. Barnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. All right, we'll just there dismiss have it. There reports of weird happenings near Wolf Skull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. All right, thank you. Why is it called Wolf Skull Cave? The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. <laughs> you certainly know how to spin a story, Falk. All right. I don't have any Feel further free questions. To return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. All right, that's good to know. All right. I sensed something when I was here someone familiar
you. If I needed something from you, you would know it. I can barely see your eyes. But I suspect that you're a vampire. What is your problem? Nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine, I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. I bet you do. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. I'll see what I can do. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. <laughs> Very well. Vampires are clever hunters. More clever than you, definitely. Hmm. But not more clever than you, I take it. All right. That'll be all. Let's see, do I have anything to disenchant? Alright, I think we're good. Alright, from this one visit I have so many things to do. So much to choose from. Interesting death bell growing right here. All right, let's decide. I think we're going after the bandit leader. Or maybe not. Look how far that is. See where is Pine Moon Cave? <laughs> all right, they're all seemingly in the same area. Okay, let's head to Dragon Bridge. Looks like a sky shard.
right, here it is, Pine Moon Cave. We'll take the pelts as well. Oh, I'm already close to weight capacity, and I don't have a companion with me. This won't do. Was it? Okay, really, how am I missing? I heard something. Mm, a mist walker. Satisfied.
suppose I could just leave, but there seems to be more to explore here. Good thing I didn't. A skill book. Hmm, fascinating. I can add this to my knowledge of illusion. And here we are with the prize. Gauntlets of archery. Probably can't carry this. No. There must be something I can get rid of. I'll just leave this. Too bad I can't resurrect someone. And order them to carry my treasure. All right, well. area. There will be treasure here waiting for me. Are you an Argonian? Hmm, an Argonian vampire. Well, you don't have much time left. go back to solitude. Hmm. What time is it? Oh, the sun is rising. It's already risen.
So with the Sabeel Stentor, truly is a vampire. She's probably resting in bed since it's daylight. Let's see if I'm correct. Yes. There. Sabeel. Be quick. I have little patience for mundane concerns. I bet. I cleared out the vampires from Pine Moon Cave. Filthy creatures, aren't they? Living in the darkness like they do. So uncivilized. I prefer finery, like this. Here, for your trouble. And I suppose I should show you a little about illusion magic for free, shouldn't I? Yes. Thank you. All right. I think that'll do. I hope we bump into each other again. <laughs> and you don't have to pretend with me I know what you are. Let's go. I'm so used to having someone follow me, it's really strange. To have no one behind me. Alright, it's time to sell off some of this stuff and then I think I'll go and collect that bounty. <laughs>